Amen and amen and amen. People of God, happy Sunday to you all. And the founder and the entire team, we welcome you to this wonderful TV line. This gospel, the kingdom of our Father Yahweh, Jesus, and the power of the Holy Spirit. Wherever you are, we are about to start the program. As you can see, this year is very important as the year is rolling slow but sure and uh, singing, dancing our, for our Father Yahweh Jesus and the Holy Spirit is very important. And this year, to be specific, all over the place, people are worshipping him in truth and spirit. So we are about to play a song. We do not have a copyright to the song. The owner has the copyright. Stay tuned. I will be with you. It's called Great King, done by the Light Corner Minister. We love you.
Amen and amen and amen. Brother Delight Corner Minister, we appreciate your song and we say thank you and we are blessed. It is well. Our dear, wonderful, good, fans, good listeners, wherever you are all over the globe. We say good morning, good afternoon, or good evening according to your geographical locations. It's another moment, it's another hour. We are here again with the kingdom of our Father Yahweh, and the gospel of his son Jesus and the power of his Holy Spirit or the Holy Ghost. We are about to start the program with opening prayers and the program we follow proper. Holy, 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 holy is your name. Holy, 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 holy. Father Yahweh, we thank you for another opportunity you gave us. We slept, we woke up, and we are here to worship you in truth and spirit. You are God that changes not. You compromise not your name, your holiness, and righteousness. We thank you for all what you have done in the sin and not in the sin, in the spiritual and in the physical. Even those we haven't seen yet, but we believe, we trust in you that all belongs to you. Even the demons, the witches, the wizards, Satan, it all is wicked agent. They all belong to you and they are subjected to you. We thank you for this universe. We thank you for this great day. We thank you for all what is happening on this planet earth. We are not moved by what we see or what we hear or what people are doing. We know that your day, your time, your hour, your season has begun before we knew it. All what is happening are just distractions for us not to focus on you, on your greatness, your victory, and your deliverance. 
We thank you for even those wicked leaders in governance. We know that you chose leaders on planet Earth in nations according to the people's wickedness, rebelliousness towards you. But Father, you sent your son Jesus for reason like this. And he accomplished his missions. You gave him all the power and all the names that is above all other names. He is the kings of all the kings. He is the leader of all the leaders. And he is seated at the right hand of you, asking and pleading for those that have chosen wickedness to be part of their lives. When he was nailed on that cross, when he cried to you, you saw this present wickedness on him. You saw the disobedience, the discomfortability, witches and wizards, Satan's demon thrones, Satan's Wickedness was placed on him. And you gave your back to him until he completed his missions. Abba Father, we know that wickedness here on this planet has, has their expiration date. We call upon you as it remains two and a half month for us to enter into 2025 which is the grace we love you Jesus you finished your race you promised us and it is here with us day and night the Holy Spirit the Holy Ghost we commit those that Satan has engulfed them, even us that you have called with all the oppositions, with all the backstabbing, with all the betrayers, with all the reproach, with all the setback. Your grace is sufficient with us because the Holy Ghost is here with us. To give us the strength. When our bodies are been beaten. When our strengths are gone. When all hopes has become hopeless. He rejuvenates us. We rise up again. With all the shame. With all the reproach. With all the intimidations. Our heads are bowed. He will raise up again. He say rise up. And be strong and be of a good person and defeat the works of Satan. We commit this moment into your hands. As today is the 13th day of the month of October, and we are glad that today. Is the end reading of Joshua chapter 3. We thank you for this ministry. It is not an easy role. But all works good for those that you've called. You didn't promise us that it's going to be glitter and gold and celebrations with you that have chosen to go on the narrow way. Because it's called a narrow, there are bombs, there are difficulties, there are setbacks, 
Jesus fell down three times with his crown waiting for him to finish his race. Lord, the ministry you've called, the ministry you anointed, the ministry you have brought in this foreign land is all about you, not us. You didn't promise us that all we go. But Lord, we are not the beginning and will not be the end. Because you are not a selfish God. Because you are not a biased God. Because you are God for all the earth. All the nations. We are here with your kingdom. We are here with your son's gospel, our brother. And we are here with the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, this Sunday, power of beliefs and faith number 66 is open. We love you. Jesus loves you. For those of you of your choice platforms that live streamings are being connected to, we say welcome wherever you are connected to this TV. We say do not do it by yourself, please. Allow the Holy Spirit, allow the Holy Ghost, the words of God, the kingdom of God is very foolish. It comes in a foolish way. So because it's a foolish, allow that foolishness. Soak yourself in the Holy Spirit that you will understand God's foolishness that is coming to you. He is not like those that call themselves educated, prosperous, all well with them. No, God is not like them. He is a God that takes common things, nothing, and makes it something because he doesn't want anyone to take the glory. Are you that person today? It's your moment. It's your time. Your hour, your season has come. Two thousand and four is a long time. This was my period that I was preparing with a lot of rejections. I will go. I will not go. But I began to sense within my own very self when the truth comes to you that is going to change your heart. Anytime you begin to see the wickedness projecting in you, all Satan's demons in the form of human beings are speaking. Let me tell you, some of you, your problem is not the witches and wizards that are around you. It's your own very self. Jesus said, sin comes in different, different, different ways. Sin. And the whole sin begins with your eye, your mind, and your heart. The other day, Jesus spoke in a parable. He said, if your eye, one of your eye, has caused you to sin, he said, it's better for you to plug it out than you to enter into heaven with one eye. Some of you, you are blaming Satan. You are blaming people. You are blaming all the demons. But God has given you free way. 
some of us we we are not opportune because technology was very limited in those days for us to dive into it or maybe you are in a country that is very challenged with connections into the internet world but make effort the salvations of god comes by hearing and hearing the words of god it was a spoken word that came to me foolishly that is why i say i am here foolishly my story is foolishly because i wanted to fulfill god's will because god say he that find it a man have to find a woman and they say no you have to follow believe my god and it was so i didn't know that that was my calling she is not fortunate to be part of this journey today she is with god but maybe you your own call is different than me a child maybe is speaking to you about the kingdom of god or somebody that he does even have a follower or his wretched just like john the baptist that is why i started saying allow yourself to allow god's foolishness to come to you salvation will never come in celebrity some of you you wants to be like i have been there god delivered me yes because anytime satan is opening your eyes on people that have already where we are then that is why i said if the time you needed them the time you needed all those they were not around while you were serving satan but now you choose god and god has delivered you and that is the time satan is bringing them to you and we all got deliverance most of the people that even my own very self i was trying to call father i was trying to be i've watched their ministry all when the holy spirit opened my eyes in the spiritual world not in the physical i began to redraw right away that is why i am always saying this to you do not admire paul lona baker carnally because you will miss what if i am a fake apostle or i am a fake minister of the gospel the more the reason jesus told us that if you want to understand him very well accept the gift of the holy spirit he said when he comes he will reveal everything there is no secret the holy spirit will not reveal to you the bible said if the holy spirit will reveal god's plan god's secret to human being how much more now a human being you think holy spirit cannot he says secret revealer so that is the weapon that is why jesus ministry was very superpower we saw what happened when the holy spirit came upon peter an ordinary fisherman when he ministers about prosperity that people will bring all their goods together that everybody will eat and have enough that no believer will lack peter was not there 
when Ananias and Sapphira, a couple, a husband and wife, when they decided to rogue Peter, to deceive Peter, and they said, let's go. Both of the husband, they are going out. They went before Peter. And the Holy Spirit revealed straight away to Peter. He said, you see those two couple, they are witches, they are wizards, and both of them fell down and died. It's your will. Do not come to God and play God. Do not mock God. Most especially somebody that is always playing with the Holy Spirit. His friend is the Holy Spirit. Do not play with him or her. Your downfall will be very pathetic. Holy Spirit doesn't compromise. Jesus warned us before he gave us the Holy Spirit. He said, you can sing with God the Father and sing with him Jesus. He said, but when you sing with the Holy Ghost, you are not forgiven. The Holy Ghost is all we need. So today, Allow the foolishness of God to impact in your life. The school of Holy Spirit is not a child's play. If I told you my story, you will surprise. Why are you still alive? It's not about me. It's about God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Is for everybody. Power believes and faith. 66. Now, the wonderful Joshua. I said, now, the wonderful Joshua. The great leader. He's a very young man. But, his thought, his ideology was different than the others. You might be in a family or you might be in a community or you might be in a country but if you have made up your mind not to go with the worldly mentality or the majority mentality. That is what is disturbing human race today. They go with what Satan put on their tray in front of them just because everybody agree to it. That doesn't mean it's truth. No. It's always a lie. Or just because the whole pres the president of a nation, let me take it that way, agree with it. That doesn't mean it's truth. A lie is always a lie. Because some of you, as long as is a pros somebody that is prosperous speak to you you believe it you forgot that satan has robbed you you don't know that that prosperity of that somebody is your destiny that satan stole from you and gave to him or her when jesus came the Bible says the wicked religious leaders and demonic leaders, satanic leaders, we are advising, do not listen to that demon. He's Satan's son. He is witches. He is demon. He's a baseball. They call Jesus underworld. 
do not listen. We had a story that the other day, a boy was being blinded from bad and Jesus delivered him from blindness. And the people came and asked, this boy, do you know who he delivered you? He said, all I know, I was blind. And I met this man that is called Jesus. I was blind. Nobody healed me. Now I can see whether it's a demon, he's a satanic, he's a all name that you call him. He has spoken deliverance to me and now I can see. So that doesn't mean when majority agree on something is truth. You have your own ideal, God's given idea for you to test. The Bible said, test everything. Oh, thank God that God called me as a science student, as an engineer. So <laughs> I test everything and a scientist doesn't conclude his or her testing in a week. Today this whole internet or technology, do you know, or a bulb, do you know how many failed? It failed to become a light today. So scientists doesn't conclude his or her test in a day. So that is just an ideology that the Bible, that's why the Bible is called the book of life. Test every spirit to know whether it's of God. We are seen human beings, but are they human beings? They come to you. Are they human beings? They speak to you. You stay with them. You hang out with them. Are they human beings? You don't know. But when you ask the Holy Spirit, He reveals things to you. There is somebody today you have connect yourself to this platform. God is speaking to you for your deliverance and your salvation. Power, believe and faith. Now it's going to be only one reading today. I will read in English and we'll finish with this wonderful Joshua. I will take it from verse 14 where we stopped the other day of Joshua chapter 3 and we we'll ended to 17. Sweet Holy Spirit, this is your moment, this is your hour, this is your moment. Verse 14. Before I read. Oh, let me read Holy Spirit. So, verse 14. The people left their camp to cross the Jordan. And the priests who were carrying the Ark of the Covenant went ahead of them. Verse 15. It was the harvest season and the Jordan was overflowing its bank, its bank. But as soon as the feet of the priest whom we are carrying the ark touch the water at the river's edge, verse 16, 
the water above that point began backing up a great distance away at a town called Adam, which is near Zaritan. And the water below that point flowed on the Dead Sea until the riverbed was dry. Then all the people crossed over near the town of Jericho. Verse 17. Meanwhile, the priests who were carrying the ark of the Lord's covenant stood on a ground on a dry ground in the middle of the riverbed as the people passed by. They waited there until the whole nation personalized it as Israel is and God's example for other nations to follow. The whole, let me personalize it, they waited there until the whole nation of the continent of Africa personalize it to your own had crossed the Jordan on dry ground. Sweet Holy Spirit, we thank you for this moment, for this hour, for this day, for this moment. In this book of Joshua that we have just read, and today is the final completions, we have four mega themes, and this four mega theme is called success, or we call successor. Number two is faith. Number three, guidance. And number four, you conquer or conquer. So, when you open the book of Joshua and you want to read it, those are the four major things that embedded about Joshua. My dear brothers and sisters, when God has called you to do assignment for him, It always look impossible. Let me start it with a little girl that was that her name was called Mary. Mary, you have found favor. God has favor you. You're going to have a child. You already have it. And she said, how can it be possible? I have never known a man. He said, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and you will be pregnant and have a baby that is called Jesus. So she to ask, how can it be possible? When God has called you to do mission for him, if you haven't felt that doubtfulness, check yourself. 
because it have to come with something that is bigger for your own mindset. That is how he operates. He will never speak. And the Bible says, the spouse of Mary, Joseph, was pressurized by his country people, by his family. Do not bring a shame to us. This is not possible until God intervene. So God is God. When Joseph was placed in that family, that began all this ministry of God's kingdom we are reading today. One boy have to bring the whole kingdom of God that we include the whole nation into it. One little boy That is called Joseph. Impossibility showed to him from prison, from a prisoner. Sometimes you are going through challenges that you didn't know anything about. For example, I have gone to places, they have labored me, they have Provide me, they have tagged me criminally. I ask myself, what names are these? But it is for your journey. So Joseph went into a prison because he chose God. He said, My master has given me control over everything but he didn't give you to me so your lustfulness go with you don't bring it to me and the light showed and he was placed so sometimes what you are going through for God's kingdom is a training ground for you it's a preparation for you. It's a classroom for you. It's an educational center for you. For the betterment. No wonder when the, his brother showed up, the boy didn't hold his peace. The Bible said he went and cried. He said, you meant evil for me. You tried to kill me. The Bible said Joseph have to go into his palace, his chambers, and wept. He cried because he saw his brothers. But he said, God have allowed that to happen, that a time like this, he will use me to bring deliverance to you all. And that began the birth of what we are reading today. That even brought the birth of Moses. That even brought the birth of the Torah. That even because Joseph had made covenant when you are with God. Even your dead when you are gone. Your covenant still works. Joseph Bone have to go and rest where he told his people. He said, please, do not leave my bone if I've died. Don't leave my bone in Egypt. Carry me. 
wherever God wants us to be. Your covenant with God. I am careless to know what human being thinks about me. No, not my mention. I don't care. Because the Bible says you will never please any human being. But your conscience with God is what important. The Bible says when your way pleases God, even your enemies will be at peace with you. For some of you, you are pleasing human beings all your life. Whatever they tell you, they remote control you. And you forgot that God sees everything. So if they, Joseph would have done evil thing into that secret, what would have happened to him? So sometimes what the enemy has given you in a secret, you think your master didn't see or your master didn't know. Or somebody that you are with didn't know. But he or her God was there. And he saw everything. So, for those of you, all you want to do to please him and being. All you want to do to please him and being. And say, God, you are, sit down, God. I don't, don't waste my time. You put God. And God will never fight anyone that rejects him. Because he's a God of principles. He gives us free will. But your consequence, your trial, your disappointment, your cry, you will need him one day. So he never fight anybody. So Joshua made himself different. Leadership comes from God, but he passed through human being. So Joshua was picked by Moses to be among the team that will go and spy where God has prepared for them to enter, to pass through those territory. The others came and made a fabrication and made a lie and made it impossible. I don't know who I am speaking to. God will never give you an assignment that is possible in your eyes. It makes it very impossible. I could imagine. Because my cold was associated with migration. Day one, 2005, January 15. That very day, God said, Leave. I'm sending you. Leave. Go. Go. Sometimes I will go to Matadauda. I said, Matadauda, I'm going. He will say, where are you going? I say, I don't know. God say, I will go. She will look at me sometimes. She will cry. I say, I'm going. Say, God say, I will go. I'm going. God say, I will say that word. Sometimes I will dress. I say, God say, let me go. She will look at me. I said, God said, I will go. So that goal was in me all the time, all the time. God said, I'm, you go, you have to leave, you have to go. So when the possibility came, even those that I was among them, my fellow ministers, they say, you don't even have how many members. You don't even look how broke you are. You think you are, you, you can't go anywhere. I said, God said, I will go. 
So, who told you? God. Who told you? God. That's all matter. So, there is somebody today. Moses, I know you are afraid of Pharaoh, but you have to go. They say you have to go. When God says go, go. That is why I am always saying this. I am in one of the prosperous country in the earth. To make shortcut like other pastors, other life ministers, to make prosperity be for them, is at their disposal. But because I didn't come here by my own self, by Satan, by anybody, God said, come. Whatever comes my way, I see, I love. Sometimes I go to places. What Before I am already going there, he has already told me what A and B that is going to be around it. I just pray for all of them. I say, God, forgive them, please. They don't know what they are doing. You didn't. Sometimes that is a test for you. You the individual. Because when God opens his sins, affairs, that is why. Whatever happens, I am not afraid to speak the truth. Because when I speak the truth to you, God has delivered me. Your blood has gone out of me. People call me. I talk a lot. I will repeat. Because God is a repeater. God repeats, spoke in words to us every day. Sometimes God will repeat. Hey, this. He wants you to understand. He wants you to make Victory, success, journey. Some people call me, I am a wonder wall, I'm a witch, I'm a demon. If I was, I'm prosperous. Satan doesn't waste time. See all the fake pastors that are serving Satan. Are they broke? They are not broke. They are very frequently rich. They live in mansions. So that's the difference. But you that fear God, obey Him. Your success comes slow, but sure. Let us put God in our heart, in our affairs in our business, in everything. Every day I go battle. The challenge comes beyond my control. But he will say, endure. When I pray, God, what to do? He say, endure. He say, God, but you have given me power. He say, endure. They say, when my time comes, I don't compromise. So that is God. So Joshua came and gave a result to Moses. He said, Moses, what? I could imagine, I think Moses, Joshua was the last to give a report to Moses. Why all those others have lied? He said, Moses, what I saw, they are all little ones. We can overcome them. We can overtake them. Because Joshua studied the Chronicles. Joshua studied what takes them to be delivered. Because Joshua made himself to study. He's not moved 
by the material. Some of you, you have come to this foreign land. You have allowed the bad character have overshadowed you. Have overtaken you so badly. God pick you among your nations. You didn't study the good character of these nations. But the negativity. Because every country have a good and bad. I'm not just saying this. Every country, even where we came for the eyes. But what have you studied? Some of you, you came as a good person from your country. But you came. You didn't stay with your good character. You allow. You study the bad character and have overtaken you. And you are blaming God. Don't blame God. Blame yourself. Every human being, every nation have good and bad. Because who said so? God. He said, woe unto this place. That means this act. There is no country that will say, oh, my country is better than, no, you are a liar. That means you want to take God as a lie. No. He said, woe unto this act. Because Satan has come. The same Satan in your country is the same Satan in America. The same way he operates in your country is the same way. A liar is always a lie. So stop just blaming one country. Because who says so? God says Satan has come. And that is why they have what they call the rules of law. There are good politicians. There are good leaders. And there are bad leaders. So do not put everybody in a category. For instance, there are good white people towards black people. And there are bad white people towards black people. So do not categorize everything that all white people are wicked towards black. No. Just like there are good black people towards white people and there are bad black people to also do not put everybody in a bracket. No. Because we have two good and bad here on planet Earth. God and Satan. But you know what Satan does? The same Satan that came to you and injected evil in you, he will go again to that person that said, you see that sister, you see that brother, this is what he has against you. Because Satan is being chained. is being controlled by God to expose everything and your prayer that is why the weapon that he throw at you to weaken you because anytime you pray fervently put fire on Satan to release all the secret to you so he hates prayer he hates a fervent prayer, a righteous prayer. That is why he weakened nations. He weakened family. He weakened people for them not to pray. And the best thing he can do, he can throw lies, deceive, biasness, with no proof. But when you pray, he torments just his prayers bring Result. Power. Beliefs. And faith. Joshua. Saw the result. The same way. In the beginning God said Joshua. I am beginning. This is just a beginning now for Joshua. 
Verse 3, he said, I am beginning now to prove your leadership in front of those that follow you. No wonder Joshua said the other day, he said, I don't know for you, my followers, but me and my household, we have chosen to follow God, Yahweh, Jesus and the Holy Spirit. Satan's demons and his agents, they know their pay. Anything Satan gives you, he pays is a reproach, a shame and disgrace and calamity. They know it very well. If Satan has making you to thief, to do criminal things, to do illegal things, because when you fail, you didn't succeed. Your calamity. The day you will be exposed, you will ask yourself. So there is nothing. When Satan told you, hate a man of God or a woman of God, your destruction has already gone. It is biblical. It is biblical. Satan is a reproach to humanity. The Bible says, the same way the Red Sea parted in the hands of who? Moses. With what? Just a commodity in a stick. <laughs> but Moses prepared a big amount to God told Moses prepare a big amount to for the one that is going to take over you. So Moses was just used to part a red sea with just a little stick. But in this time now, technology showed up. God's technology and priesthood. So the Bible said the priest stood in the middle so do you know what happened the bible said they cheat the priest they stood in the beginning the covenant the priest went ahead of the people ahead of the people so now and this time as i round up verse 17 he said, Meanwhile, Joshua chapter 3, the priest who we are carrying the ark of the Lord's covenant stood on the dry ground in the middle of the riverbed as the people passed by. They waited there until the whole nation of Israel has passed the Jordan on the dry ground. Now, because they were not ready. Nobody had to go near that covenant. But the miracle. So when they all now passed that covenant, that means all their sin, all their doubt, all their wickedness, the moment they passed that covenant, now they passed through it. That means deliverance, victory, success. So, the priests are very important in your midst. No wonder Satan knows that because priesthood are God's heartbeat to carry God among God's people. Satan too has his own fake pastors, fake churches, fake every fivefold ministry, anything that God made. Satan too have them. He said the Bible says, by their fruit we shall know them. Power, believe and faith. Be one and take God to be for you.
Amen and amen and amen. My dear wonderful people, my dear good people, God has brought you to a channel, to a TV line like this. This moment, this hour, prepare yourself as altar call. You cannot afford this Joshua teachings to end without you coming in front of this grace. Today is a general altar call. Altar call is a general altar call because you need impartations. You need to tap into this. After I have prayed and lead people to sinner's prayer, or some of you, you were once saved, but along the line, you have allowed sinful character of Satan to override you. So you have to be part of this as well. To reconnect again with God. And the Holy Ghost power is going to come on you with fire. With impartations. With greatness. You need the Holy Ghost. The Holy Spirit here on planet Earth. Than any human being. You need him. All your best friends in the form of human beings, they are all fakes. Be a best friend of the Holy Spirit. Before you take any human being, the Holy Spirit will open your eyes to know that character of that person better. Before you call him on her your friend. Because he revealed human being. They created human being. They know the motive. There is no human being on earth here doesn't have motive. It might be good motive. It might be bad motive. Your company. Who you hang out with. Who you confine in. Has a great effect impact in you if you are not grounded in the Holy Spirit. Mind you, Jesus was having 12 disciples. Peter said, Jesus, stop talking about your dead. You are not going to die. You're not going to be on the cross. And what did Jesus say? He said, get ye behind me, Satan. Because not that Satan, Peter was Satan, but Satan was now speaking through Peter and Jesus rebuked. So sometimes you will be among people, they are speaking to you, but if you are not grounded in the Holy Ghost, you will think they are saying something, yeah. That's why they call a good lie. Like some people sometimes, when I share my challenges, my trials to some people, their advice to me, that's why when I'm starting to say it to them, do not feel pity for me. It's just for tomorrow record's sake that Paul pass through A, B, C, D. Because we have to say. So when I'm telling people about my testimony, the first thing I say, do not sympathize with me. It's a journey for God I am going through. So, when the Holy Ghost is in you, some of you, you need Holy Ghost than anybody. 
because when he is with you, by the time they meet or by the time they already plan, you are not among them, but the Holy Ghost was there. He already told you, say, prepared. This is what is coming. So when they brought it, you already know that this is their ABC. As you have come to the grace, to this altar, with this exhortation, you've already granted no what you needed. So raise your two hands. I give you few seconds as my hands are raised up together with you. Speak to God. Speak to Jesus. Speak to the Holy Spirit. I don't know you. I don't know your heart. But you know what you have done to your very self that is haunting you, that is fighting you. Speak to God. Speak to him. He hears you. I can hear a cry. You feel to cry? Cry. Say, Jesus, call your full name. This 13th day of October, Sunday, 2024. You spoke through this ministry, your servant. I was totally naked and guilty of all. I have disobeyed. You, God, my Father, my brother Jesus, and my senior partner, the Helper, the Holy Ghost. Have mercy upon me. Accept me. Wash me. Take my iniquity from me. Do not allow Satan to kill me. Do not allow Satan to override me, to overtake me. I surrender my life to you. My sins are heavy. Deliver me. Take my reproach. Take my shame. Wash me into your blood, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Your name. Your name. Your name has been written. Has been written. In that book of light, your name, your name, your name has been written. Your name, your name has been written in the book of life. Now, the Holy Ghost, I'm going to take authority. You already got a few exhortations. So you already know what he's coming to do in your life. And be ready for him. The authority being invested in me. By my father Yahweh, in the name of his son's name, Jesus, our brother. And by the power of our helper, our teacher, the comforter. The Holy Ghost, sweet Holy Spirit, sweet Holy Ghost, is moving in your life, receiving, receiving. 
receive him now in your life receive the gentle touch of the holy ghost he's so gentle receive him now receive the gentle holy ghost receive him now receive him now receive the holy ghost receive the touch of the holy ghost this upon you his fires come upon you receive your pentecost today receive him now the gentle holy spirit oh shete bakuri yanama he's coming upon you he has taken your heart your garment oh look at those garments evil garment that the holy angels are Bringing out from your body, oh shete, which covert, which crab, the serpentine, oh shete, bakuri anama, that evil covenant that haunted your household, your parent, your mother, your father, your ancestors negatively, he's broken out of your body today. That evil covenant that your dad went into, you never knew about it. That is haunting you. He's broken today. Shetebaku, some of you, your dad made a covenant and is haunting you. They are gone. The Bible says our fathers have eaten evil. And we now, the children, are paying the consequences. Oh, Sheteba, God says the Lord, your evil covenant that your dad went into, that he is no more, has haunted you because your name was called on that evil covenant. You are coming out today. You are coming out today. You are coming out. Holy Ghost is bringing out from your body sheteba kuriya nama tete kariya nama sheteba ku shete the bible say he that covered his sin shall never prosper covered sin will bring hindrance to you you have to expose the witches and wizards. I am bold to say that God took me from an idolatry family, evil family, because evil is not of God. But God has brought me to a point to expose the work, the evil work of Satan. Today, your household power will not hold you captive anymore. He is gone. They are gone. But you are paying the consequences because your name is still on that altar. The fire of Yahweh. The fire of Jesus. The fire of the Holy Ghost has brought it down. Under the power of my father Yahweh, under the power of my brother Jesus, and under the power of the Holy Ghost, we seal this session that no counter attack, no retaliations will befall you. We love you. Jesus loves you. Thank you, Yahweh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. You are free. Your nation is free. Your family is free. No more shame. No more reproach. Success has come over you. Victory has come over you. Salvation has come over you. 
Go in peace. Some of you, the Holy Ghost is still working with you. The stream is coming to an end. But the impartation and the effectiveness of the Holy Ghost is still going to cut across you. He's moving with you. He's moving with you. He's moving with you. He's moving with you. Allow him to change your story. In Jesus' name, amen. The end of power, believe, and faith 66, October 13, 2024. Do not forget to subscribe, to share, and comment, and like. And click that notification button. Wherever you are, be a sponsor. Be a promoter of this ministry. Allow the Holy Spirit, allow the Holy Spirit to touch you. If you want to be financial blessing to this ministry, we say you are welcome to do so. We love you. Jesus loves you. Bye-bye. 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 Amen. Amen.